Hola, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of April. Your first card here is the Two of Swords, wanting, or I should say refusing to see things for what they really are. For some of you guys, you guys are currently dealing with uh, having to make a decision, perhaps a decision you're not wanting to make. Uh, so there's some type of procrastination or uh, really not, you're just not up for it. You're not ready to make a decision. This could be in regards to finances as well as relationships. Now, your next card here is the Six of Pentacles. So there's a lack of balance. There is a lack of cooperation, perhaps from people around you. Uh, this could be in the work for, uh, in the work uh, field as well as in regards to relationships. For some of you guys, it could be feeling that uh, perhaps uh, your partner or the person that you're currently with or dealing with is really not putting their part or not doing their effort, what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, someone in this connection is definitely taking too much and the other one um, is not doing enough. Now we do have the Six of Swords moving forward or wanting to uh, pull away from this situation in the past. Um, here with the Two of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles, I see you guys still wanting to fix this connection or wanting to put effort and energy towards this. Now, for those of you guys that are directly connected with the situation of finances, you could feel a bit strained or feel like they're not taking you seriously where you're currently working at. Uh, perhaps you're working too much or going above and beyond to prove your worth, whether it's to get a, uh, whether to get an advancement, whether it is to get a raise. Um, but they're not really taking notice, Gemini. I feel that um, it's gotten to the point where it's kind of demoralized you and perhaps even feeling like you haven't been putting as much effort lately. And it could be because of that. Because they kind of, they've taken you for granted. Uh, for some of you guys, this could even be people that work around you or around um, around you at work. So what they're telling me is that if you were usually the, the go-to when it came to someone like needing you to cover their shift or anything like that, um, if you were the one to like be very quick to say yes, absolutely, and then situations or circumstances happen where you've needed them to step up and they've refused to do that. Uh, what Spirit is telling you is that now there's a, there's almost like a retraction of you pulling back uh, or perhaps not being as complacent, not complacent, sorry, not being as, um, as willing to, you know, help those around you. And it's because there's a feeling of like there's been lack of apathy here. There's been lack of understanding or even compassion for those of you guys that have needed people to cover for you whether it's emergencies family whatever it is um they're not as quickly to do so and i see you guys like really taking that personal but like like in a like you have the right to feel that way because it's like everyone's out to get like everyone's out to do for themselves and at some point you felt like you were the one that was very focused, very determined in what you were doing uh, to prove your worth. But again, like I said, it's almost a feeling like they just haven't taken notice or they took you for granted. This could be in relationships as well, Gemini. Now, the card that's crowning you at the present time is the Nine of Swords. So I do see a lot of anxiousness, a lot of worry with you guys uh, in regards to this situation. But what Spirit is telling you is what's coming towards you that is unexpected is the Six of Wands. So finally being recognized for some of you guys, it could be getting a raise for others of you. It could represent people taking notice or even uh, higher ranking officials, your supervisor, your manager, recognizing the hard work. And it could be because there's been lack of it um, on your part lately. And it's it's like they will acknowledge that, you know, at some point you were working very hard towards uh, whatever it was or whatever it is that you do. Um, so there is recognition here, but for others of you, this could just symbolize uh, being able to come out of that stress or that worry. 
for those of you guys that have been waiting or patiently waiting, I should say, for some type of uh, money coming in, whether it's a check, whether it's a bonus, anything like that, and it may have seemed bleak at some point, that's definitely coming through for you guys for this month of April. Now, your next card here is the Knight of Wands. A lot of movement, a lot of communication. Now, you guys do have the Eight of Wands, so it's very quick energy. Energy that is like, it's coming from everywhere. Um, and this could symbolize for some of you guys, uh, if you guys are currently in a situation where you've been dealing with a partner that perhaps was too much of a taker, not really putting effort, not really... Um, just not not willing to cooperate i do see like a major transition that's happening with the knight of wands communication opens up uh this could even be dealing with a person an ex-partner the eight of wands is what they're wanting to do so they're wanting to communicate with you they're wanting to uh pretty much throw out a signal and see if you would catch it if you know what i mean uh with the magician what spirit is telling you is that you have all the ingredients, all the power, all the all the, the ball is basically in your court, Gemini, uh, where you want to take this connection. Uh, for those of you guys in regards to finances, the ball is in your court. You will end up uh, being put in a situation where you're going to either uh, be receiving some type of bonus, like I said, some type of money that's coming to you very unexpected uh, with the magician card. Um symbolizing the manifestation of something that is unbeknownst to you with the eight of wands that's coming in very quickly now for those of you guys that are dealing with a, an ex-partner and there hasn't been any type of communication perhaps because they have emotionally moved on i do see them coming back around and trying to communicate with you uh, for some of you guys you may be dealing with the cancer energy for others you may be dealing with an aries or earth energy taurus capricorn virgo um, and what they're saying here is basically, like I said, the ball is in your court. Ultimately, the decision lies on you where you want to move or progress this connection um, or if you want to progress this connection. Uh, here's what they're saying as well, though. Know your self-worth, Gemini, and do not settle for people that are confused or people that don't know exactly what it is that they want. Because I feel that the reason why they're coming back around or they're trying to communicate is because perhaps in the past, meaning what's recently happened, could have been that they ended up being empty handed in regards to the relationship or connection they had. So then let me come over here to Gemini. Let me see if they're still accessible to me, if there's still feelings there. And if they are, maybe we can move things forward because it didn't turn out to be the way I wanted it over here. So again, having your self-worth, knowing what you deserve, Gemini, and basically not settling for someone that is, you know, it's kind of like that saying, if you have to choose between me or someone else, then just don't choose me at all, period. Um, and, and that's kind of the energy that I'm sensing. Now, you do have the Ace of Wands here, Gemini, so I do see a new passion, a new interest, uh, someone that sparked your interest. Um, now, you could have been dealing with the air energy, uh, Aquarius, a Gemini, like yourself, or a Libra. Um, for others of you, you are dealing with a specific Cancer. And it could be that a Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or uh, Sagittarius, Leo, uh, Aries uh, energy uh, recently got your attention with the Ace of Wands. I do see this as something like they've really sparked your interest and there is uh, definitely reciprocation of energy here. But I feel that for most of you guys, if you guys are currently dealing with an earth energy or a fire energy, uh, what they're saying is that this person may not be as accessible only because they are very methodical in the, in the people or anything that they put their time and energy to. And if they've known your situation or they know that there's, you're still dealing emotionally with an ex-partner, they may not be very open about it and be like, yeah, I am interested only because they're not going to put themselves in a position where they know they may end up getting hurt. So again, I think if you are dealing with this type of energy, my advice to you is just let them know if they are aware that you're still dealing with an ex, letting them know like, hey, you know what? 
Um, even when they do make communication, like, you know, my ex reached out, da, 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 da. But I think that at this point, like I'm emotionally moved on from that. Um, and I'm ready to, uh, move forward, you know, move towards the future. And that's going to be the green light for them. They're definitely going to come on to you and they're going to come on to you strong and let you know that they are interested. So ultimately the message here is let whatever bridge, uh, bridges burn, light that motherfucker up and let it burn what's done is done let it be bygones only because i feel that should you embrace this person that's coming back into your present that is from your past is gonna keep you leaving uh or it's gonna keep leaving you feeling like you don't know where you stand with them and when things are great they're great but when they're not they're gonna be very quick to walk away or to ghost you or to not want to communicate until they feel like they're ready to, basically. So again, like I said, don't waste your time, Gemini. I hope this gives you guys a bit understanding, a little bit more of insight, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.